those are elk. There's freaking elk in this field right now. That is so cool. Don't be quiet in this stuff. Oh, that's awesome. There we go. Morning, everyone. It's Monday, November 11th at 5.30 and uh, just getting suited up here to go out for the first opening morning of rifle season. So it's very cold out there right now. It's minus 22 degrees Celsius. Put my big moon boots on here. <clears throat> big boots. This morning, hopefully, hopefully we see something so I can give the dog some antlers for Christmas. Where's my coffee? <laughs> oh. oh. Just about ready to go. <clears throat> oh, got cold too. Oh, I need a shave. Yuck. Got the fire going now. It was out, <clears throat> obviously, by the morning. It's starting to warm up now. But, uh, yeah. We're just going to get dressed here and jump in the truck. We'll see you out there.
everyone. It is Friday, November 15th at 20 after 1 in the afternoon. I am uh, heading out right now to set up a blind and a camp chair and a new camera. I've got um, my other three cell cameras, the Spy Point Link Micro. Um, the other three came in. They're all up and running and working. I just got to put them out this weekend. So, uh, I'm hoping I'm early enough to get the spot I want. Um, it's not where my cell camera is right now, but I just actually got into cell service at the top of the hill by my cabin. And uh, I just got updated pictures from my camera and there is a monster buck in there. And that's not where I'm going tonight. The wind isn't good for that spot. So, so I'm going to be across the road from there as long as I'm early enough. So this weekend, uh, we took Friday off. We're just kind of spending an extra day of R&R &R out at the cabin. I was hoped, I hoped to have had my deer by now, but uh, it's okay. I'm okay with hunting again. Um, yeah, so everyone's at the cabin, boss at the cabin. We've kind of just been lazing around all day. I think I've drank over a pot of coffee, so I'm done. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to get set up for tonight. Tonight's the night. We are taking the deer down. I am not trophy hunting anymore. I spent my budget on these cameras. Um, so I have a taxidermy fund that I put into. But uh, unless it's something ridiculous, some ridiculous monster, then I'll get it done. But otherwise, I've already blown that budget. And um, I'm just shopping for antlers now for the dogs. That's their Christmas present every year. Get an antler, so that's the game plan. Get a deer tonight, get some antlers for the dogs, Christmas, and uh, cut up some wood, fill up the woodshed, do some R and R. So, I'm because I'm setting up a blind, I'll have a better camera angle. Um, the tripod will be out there, and and uh, hopefully we're set up in an active spot. I uh, I only brought one satellite camera or one cell camera. Uh, with me and I'm gonna set it up in the same field I'm hunting so hoy. Um, Yeah, so I'm gonna drive right into the field I'm gonna set the blind up set everything up set the camera up drive the truck back to the main entrance to let people know I'm there and Walk back to the blind and hopefully sit for about Three hours. It's 123 so 130 I can shoot till something like 5.30. So, I bet you it takes me an hour to get everything done and I'll be sitting for three hours. I got, I've been getting so cold in these clothes this year, I've got like three layers on underneath this stuff. So, we're gonna see how that goes. Is that really RCMP out here? <laughs> yep. Oh, a school bus. Oh, it's Friday, right. I'm like, since when do I see a school bus out here? Okay, so I forgot, it's Friday. It's been a long time since I've uh, come out here during a weekday. RCMP out here, school buses, what the heck's going on? Oh, I can pass them now. Is there people coming? Yeah. seeing on camera though everything's moving late or early so I mean the big bucks in the other spot where my other camera is the big bucks are coming through there at 10 10 30 in the afternoon or late morning 
basically afternoon, 10 in the morning, 10.30 in the morning. So that's pretty late. Like by 9.30ish, I'm pretty cold because I've been sitting out there since six. So, um, but the cameras are telling me I need to be out there till 11-ish. So, this is why I got these cell cameras. They can give me so much information. And, um, you know, I can pattern the deer better and, you know, kind of get used to their habits and movements. And it gives me a better opportunity to actually pick the buck that I actually want to go after, right? Because I, I only trophy hunt. I, I don't really care for deer meat. I still eat it. I make jerky out of it. And uh, I make dog treats out of it. But I, I won't eat a deer steak anymore. I won't eat a deer roast unless it's slow cooked for like 12 hours. Um, I just don't, I just lost the taste for it. Um, so, you know, a lot of people think trophy hunters uh, are bad or it's a bad word. It really depends on what that means to the person. For me, it means I just don't take a deer unless the right buck comes in front of my bullet. So if the right buck doesn't walk out, I don't shoot anything that year and I'm okay with that and that's actually you know that's better than just shooting a deer to for the sake of shooting a deer just so you can make some more jerky that you kind of like um, so I'm really selective because I do so much hunting and a deer I process myself I don't take that to a butcher I do it all myself and um, that allows me to be very selective because I don't want to take on the extra work um, I don't want to have to, or I don't want to just kill a doe or kill a small buck um, unless I need something from it. Uh, so I want the big bucks. Um, but this year, like I said before, I am going after, uh, you know, a small rack, just something for the dogs to uh, chew on. Usually, um, it takes my dogs about, I'm going to say a year to to eat a small basket size uh, buck rack. So I'm talking like, I don't know. How would I describe that? Like a small ant. Wait, hold on. Hold on, I know exactly how to describe this. Oh, ha, ah. oh my God, there. This was last year's. This had four points on it. So this was a bit bigger than they're used to, and this is what they've got left. So there was four points on here, and there's one in the brow tine, so. So that's what, uh, that's what our dogs love chewing on, and it keeps their teeth clean. So that's what I'm looking for. Something like that, or a bit smaller. And, um, you know, anything bigger than that, and I'll probably get it mounted, but. Like, if I get a drop tine or kickers on the back, it's getting mounted. <laughs> like, to me, that's pretty awesome, but. All right, guys, we are just about halfway there. So I'm gonna put the camera down now and pick up my speed a little bit. I'm doing about 110 now, but I, uh, I'm getting hot holding this camera. I'm loaded up in my long underwear, three layers, my winter clothes starting to get hot. I've got the cold on, so I'm going to open a window, make it noisy in here, so that I don't sweat before I'm out there. Um, so we'll see you out in the field. While we're here, a lot of truck tracks in here. Nothing looks fresh though. Nothing looks like it was here today. So this is the field, and I do have a camera in here. And it's just a long strip, but at that end, over there, is where the deer come out. So I'm gonna set up along this edge here. <clears throat> my truck is noisy. I don't have my, uh, I don't have any air in my air shocks in the back right now. Once I get, um, once I find a spot where I'm going to set the blind up, I'll uh, turn you back on and we'll do the setup. But I just want to look around here a bit and 
try and find a good spot that I can shoot the most surface here. Alright, so I see lots of tracks through here. Um, so this is kind of the top edge of the field. And uh, I've never hunted this far up. Because I do see deer cross through the middle of this field. And that's a pretty far shot. <clears throat> But I always see people hunting up here, so that has to mean something, right? Um, I think what I'm going to do, because I'm hoping to set this blind up here today and leave it overnight and come back here in the morning. And I know in the morning it's very active here, um, so I should be able to get a shot. But the deer also come out at the end of this bluff, which is probably, I'm going to guess, about 200 yards from here, which is not bad. Um, <clears throat> it's a shot I would take anyways so I think what I'm going to do is there's this let me see if I can turn this around here there's a tree line obviously and then there's this little dip in here and then it goes back to tree line so I think I'm going to tuck myself in here somewhere and uh, have a good shot each way this is awfully close. I mean, I don't know. Setting up here is really close to this end. Like I'm talking like 75 yard shot. That's really close. I don't know. It looks like there's a lot of crossing that happens through here too, so I don't want to interrupt that. If they want to come out here, I don't want to be uh, in their way. You know what? This is too close. I'm going to go back to the next one. Here. Uh, I'll just set you in the box of the truck. See how that goes. Yeah, I think I like this spot better. Maybe I'll tuck in. Ugh. Maybe I'll tuck in right in this little area here. I'll have to get rid of some of these little branches that are gonna be in my way to shoot over there, but I could tuck in right here in between these trees. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is nice. I'll be able to uh, see most of it. I'm gonna go over here maybe. Yeah, then I'll break some of these branches off, the little, little poplars that are growing, and this will be my view. So from here over is a good spot. That'll catch them crossing in the middle. And then right across here is where they like to duck along the fence line, go into this bluff, and then shoot out over this way. And then at the very end, my truck's in the way, but um, over there is, an, is the, the bush line that wraps around the corner, and if they cross there, that's probably, I'm going to say a 200 yard shot. So I got about 200 yard shots on each side of me, which uh, I can make that work. <clears throat> All right, let's get set up. Interesting. I've never uh, used the pegs for this blind yet, 
and uh, these are pretty uh, pretty heavy duty pegs. I hope hope they'll work. The ground's pretty frozen. Uh, we'll see. All right, hard part's over. Blind is in. I'm just gonna get my, uh, um, I'm gonna drop my water bottle off in there and <clears throat> get my shooting rest set up and my bipod. Um, I'll leave my binoculars and rangefinder in there. Although I forgot my blind shelf, not a big deal. Um, I can just use my backpack, but. There are hunters. You see blaze orange, they're driving around right now. People are starting to look for spots, so I got here just in time. And I still have to take my truck to that end, uh, park it, lock it up, and walk back. I also have to set up my camera, but I think what I'm gonna do is uh, get all my stuff in the blind first and get my truck to that end so that there's no question I'm in here. Um, and I should be left alone. I should have about half hour to put my camera up. And uh, I've got one across the way, actually. I've got one in in uh, in that bluff straight across there. So I think I might put one, actually. I might put one right in this piece behind me here. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I'm gonna to have to move these around several times, I'm sure. But uh, this is the fun part about, you know, figuring it all out, right? That's the fun part. All right, I'm gonna get set up. That's right, buddy, turn around. You see the blaze? <laughs> this place. First come, first serve, right? Crown land hunting. All right, guys, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna jump in the truck, park it at the end by the road, and then walk back in here. Gosh, I should set up the camera right now. What time is it? I'm still pretty early, I think. It's two o'clock, so I got half an hour to get my truck by that road before the real traffic starts. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go set up right now. I'm gonna get this camera set up. I've got full LTE as well, which means as I'm sitting in this blind, if anything does move down that trail, it'll be sent to my phone right away. So that's cool. Okay, guys, I gotta get moving. Blind kind of stands out like a sore thumb, but that's all right. We'll see what happens. It's 10 after two. I drove around a bit, only for like five minutes, and I just felt this insane pressure to get that camera in the perfect spot. <clears throat> and it wasn't happening, so I just gave up because I really wanted to get my truck at the end of this field. So now I've got all the time I need. I've got the camera with me, so as I'm walking, maybe I'll see a trail. You know, when you walk, you always see a lot more than when you're driving. So. I still have 20 minutes or so to find a spot before I want to be in the blind. So, it's good. 
I don't feel rushed anymore to find a spot. I know exactly where I want the camera. There's no trees there to secure it to, so I'll find a spot. If it doesn't get much activity, I'll move it. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, right? So, truck, can you see? There's the truck. They've walked a ways already. And, Has actually changed directions on me, which is not good. It's not good at all. Right now it's at my back and I'm walking toward the blind. So that's kind of why I like setting up in the middle of a field. Because although will be going to the one end. It's not on the other. And I can shoot 200 yards both ways pretty comfortably, so. It's warm out though. I can't believe it. It's like minus two Celsius. It's very warm. I don't know what that's going to do to the deer, but Hopefully they still move. It's good to be back out again. And it's Friday, that's why there's so much traffic right now. Is, uh, you know, people are still working and whatever, so. I'm looking forward to a nice three hour sit tonight. And hopefully see some, see some action. As long as I get footage, I'm happy. <laughs> And I'm in the blind now, so the last two times I've been sitting, last two or three times, I've just had my uh, butt pad on the ground and put my back against a tree, so it was really difficult to have the tripod and camera and everything, and deer have such great eyesight and hearing that <clears throat> I'm always afraid to turn the camera on. And move it and I can't have it right in front of me where I'd make the least amount of movement because my gun's right in front of me so we will see eventually this will all come together right okay I'm just about at the end and there is a ton of deer tracks along the edge here and they're fresh lots of tracks along the base here right before the bush some are coming in, but mostly walking the edge. So, I'm thinking of putting it. This is that kind of opening here I was talking about, a little low willow willowy stuff. But the actual field stops here, right? So, this is a bit further in. If I put it on some of them trees back there and shoot it across, I might get to see some movement, but there's a lot of tracks here. <laughs> I'm going to try and set it up somewhere here to shoot this opening right here. This looks like a nice crossing with all the tracks I'm seeing. I mean lots. It is going to be very public though to the people that uh, frequent this area. But, you know what, I've done everything, I've bought the lockbox, I've bought the, i bought everything, so, I've done all I can to protect it. Now, where's the big tree? Right there.
right guys, this is it. This is the Spy Point Link Micro um, with the lock box on it and the cable lock so I can wrap it around a tree. And it actually goes through the box and there's two mounts on the back of the camera it goes through as well. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty secure. But I do have to take it out of here um, in order to turn it on. So you'll get to see that here too. Oh, we got burrs. Now I got four of them, so I got four keys. I gotta try to see which one it's gonna be. Hey, hey, hey. my lucky day. Okay. Oh man, I have to take this right apart, don't I? Takes a bit to boot up, but uh, it's on it. There we go. Well, I really hope, I really hope nobody damages them. Holy, am I ever covered in burrs. Didn't realize I was walking through a burr field. <laughs> well guys, the camera's working. See the tripod in front of there? So that's today. All right, so we're good and settled. We have nothing left to do but wait, and it's um, about seven minutes to three, so we've got two and a half hours of sitting here.
I'm going to go into quiet mode now and hopefully I get to turn the camera on. What the heck is that? It's like a snow spider. <laughs> starting to cool down so I got some extra layers on here. It's just about prime time I'm thinking. It's uh, what time is it? Yeah it's just about four o'clock so there's uh, an hour and 24 minutes of shooting light left so it's time to time to hunker down. That was really cool. Um, so I, f I felt my phone vibrate in my pocket. And so I knew it was one of my cameras. And uh, then it vibrated again right away after that. Both cameras I have out right now. The one that's in the bush down at this end. And the one that's in the other field. Both captured deer moving into the field at this time. So everything is just running a couple minutes late. Which is too bad. But anyways, I gotta pack up and get out of here. And uh, we'll be back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Morning, everyone. <clears throat> well, I'm a bit early. Can't shoot until quarter after seven, so. Right now, I'm three hours early. But uh, I don't need to go sit in my spot right now. We're just gonna make our way there. Um, the wind is the same as last night, but uh, I guess we'll make our way to the same area and uh, sit there and wait for a bit. 
and then uh, maybe in an hour or so we'll walk into the blind. Now we're at the top of the hill, um, back where I can get cell service, and uh, it looks like we got some pictures to look at here. Okay, it was, must be this one, oh yeah, there we go, this is the new camera I put out, <clears throat> one sec here, there we go, Oh, I see it right there. See the eyeball? I don't know why it looks so hazy here. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, there's another deer. Can't really... Oh, yeah, there's another one. Same one, I mean. <clears throat> Looks like a doe to me. I need some, there we go. I was at 7.30 last night, so they're moving late. Late, late, late. <clears throat> and we got some YouTube activity here. Let's take care of that. There's my boy. Alright guys, I'm gonna get this um I'm gonna relook at those pictures while I'm not holding a camera and um, look at the YouTube activity here and then uh, make my way to the blind. Good morning, everyone. It is 20 after 5. I've been sitting here for for a while now, just sitting in the truck waiting for uh, for the right time to go to the blind. I'm a bit early. I woke up before my alarm this morning, so. I woke up at 3.30, so I'm about half an hour early. I like, always like to sit in the blind at least an hour um, before I can shoot. But I'm two hours away from that right now, so I don't know. I don't have enough battery power on my phone to poke around on YouTube. And uh, I'm just about done my coffee, so I think after my coffee... I'll just go out to the blind early, but uh, I had a jackrabbit come up in front of the truck just now, and and uh, it's windy out there, but it's warm, you know, zero degrees, but sitting there for a couple hours in zero degrees with the wind, oh, excuse me, it's still pretty cool after a couple hours of sitting doing nothing. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I'm early today, <laughs> I might take off in about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, and, uh, make the walk to the blind, that'll only take, probably take me, I don't know, 15 minutes to get to the blind, maybe I'll just walk slow and take 20 I don't want to be in there too, too early to the point where I don't even want to be there when it comes shooting light. And I don't want to be too late where I'm scaring the big bucks off the field. So, I don't know. Alright everyone, I know you can't see me. Um, it's still pretty dark outside. I don't know if, if I turn this if you'll be able to see the difference. Between in my cab and out in the field. Nope, doesn't really look like it. Um, anyways, it's 5.30, I can shoot at 7.15, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30, 7.30,
So by the time I get to the blind and get everything set up and make all my noise and move my chair around and do all that, it'll probably be about six and that'll give me uh, an hour and 15 minutes of sitting there nice and quiet and hope something comes out this morning. <clears throat> so I'm going to get moving here. I've got my dome light turned off, so... Oh. Alright, I will see you in the blind. Okay. Just heard one gunshot. It's pretty late. Um, it's almost 8.30. I got a group of guys behind me here yelling and talking and whatever. So this morning is the last um, the last hunt I can do this weekend. I've got some chores I gotta take care of at the cabin and the wife and I took an extra day off just to so that we could have a day of R&R &R out here. And so far I've been spending it hunting. <laughs> um, so I told her that I'll just hunt this morning and if I don't get, I'll just come back out next weekend. But to me, this morning's hunt goes to 11.59. And it is 8.30. So what I want to do is I brought my other cameras with me to set up today and I was going to set them in the field across the road but uh, I just saw a truck drive down in there and it's a one-way road and he hasn't come back out so he might be going for a walk in there and according to my camera that's in there the bucks move late in there about 9 30 10 o'clock they, they cross. So my plan was, I was going to go across the bluff here, just across this field, and pick up my um, one of my cameras. Not It's not a cell camera, so I'm going to collect that. And grab the truck, warm up a bit, take the blind down, pack up all my gear, and then maybe go set a second camera up. I'll show you where I've got one. So I have one covering that opening right there, where that brown grass is on the ground there. So it's in there, with that little line brush, and it captures in there. And then I have a manual camera, or not a cell camera, in that strip of bush there facing that way because the deer like to walk along this edge and go through the bush and go that way. So, uh, because, whoops, 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 whoops. So, I was debating putting one, another cell camera in here, but I only have four of them. So, I only have two more to put out. And I'm, I kind of want to put one near the cabin there where I saw that real big buck. Or I was going to put another one across the road. So, here's my dilemma. Because nothing came out of this field in the morning, I was going to go across the road to the other field, but someone's in there, or he's down that road. So I think I'll just leave the one camera in this field. I'll collect my um, non-cellular camera from the field. I'll pull it out of here. It's got a screen on it, so I'll see what kind of pictures it's got first before I pull it. But um, I mean, if it's getting activity now, it wasn't. it didn't get anything last time. So, if it doesn't have anything on there again, then I'll just pull it, and I'll go across. I'll see where that truck is. If he's parked in there, then I'll just leave him alone. Um, 
the camera that's in there doesn't have the lockbox on it, so I really wanted to to put the lockbox on that and set up a second camera in there. I also have another manual camera in there, or a non-cell camera in there, and I was going to uh, replace it with one of these spy points. But I also have three cameras on the other side of the lake that um, I want to switch the cards out of. <clears throat> And then the rest of the day is just going to be relaxing. I spent a minute or two on YouTube this morning, and one of the guys, uh, one of my avid watchers, he uh, he uh, left a comment there, so I replied to that one. But I'm trying to conserve my power, so I got to stop at the local uh, mall here, <laughs> the little convenience store, and see if they have a a charge cable because I'm out here for another two days another day and a half at least right luckily the temperature is very mild today it's just zero degrees so I was able to sit out here for quite a while without getting too cold but uh, normally I'd be if it was like a minus 15 minus 15 Celsius minus 20 Celsius kind of day which it normally should be I wouldn't be here still I'd have been gone already my winter clothes are just not doing it anymore. Oh, there's a deer. It's a really narrow window. I couldn't even tell if it was a buck. I, uh, I was too, uh, I wanted to get the camera on it before it disappeared, but that was not. He went from the edge of that bush into that opening, then behind that willow stuff. So that's a short window of opportunity to shoot, that's for sure. If I was in the right spot, I could have got him, but you guys wouldn't have saw it. <laughs> I guess things are moving very late here. I'm going to move my chair and set myself up to, uh, to shoot down there. Just in case something else comes in behind. Well, I guess I can't say that nothing came through. It sure looked like a buck, just from how it was walking, but I'll have to check the video again after and see if I can tell. Well, guys, it's 9 o'clock, so I'm out of here. I'm, uh... I think Conservation's parked behind my truck again. I just saw a vehicle pull in there, and it hasn't left yet. Um... Either way, I think I'm done. I got some work to do. I gotta get some, uh, you know, deal with my cameras. And, um, hopefully I can get into the field across the road because then I'm still hunting technically, right? So, alright, well that was still a good morning. That was a really good morning. You know, I didn't see anything, but I still had a good time. And, and then, uh, just, uh, in this last 15 minutes, something came across at the end there. So, 
That's good. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll see you back in the truck. <clears throat> well, it, uh, I'm back in the truck right now, but it looks like I won't be going across and checking my other cameras. I personally think they're going in there to pull something out. I think one of their hunting partners or one of them shot something. But uh, either way, they're in there, so I can't be. And, uh, well, I mean, I could if I wanted to be a jerk, but <laughs> I'm not going to. I see where they're going, though, and they're not going, they're going the exact opposite way of, of where I would go. Maybe I could sneak in there. No, I better not. I better not. They're out there hunting or... If they're pulling something out, I could have gone in, but... Again, even then, right? There's two of them there, so... Chances are one of them got something. Maybe they both have a tag, so I don't want to screw them up. So... I'm gonna go, take down the blind, collect my trail camera. Maybe move the other one, but I got, gotta go. See you soon. Oh, guys, I got lucky. I uh, happened to notice them walking back out, and you'll see them all there. Bunch of vehicles behind me here. Anyways, they were all uh, just pushing this bush. But, you know, I gave them, I showed them where some of the pictures are being taken of the bucks and because I'm done hunting this weekend, and there's quite a few of them. It seemed like they wanted to get a deer, so I shared some info. They had uh, they'd pushed this end, which I don't know. But they're gone now, so I, gotta, I can go lock up my camera. <clears throat> and check the pictures on my other one. If it gets good pictures, I might switch it out with a spy point. Whew. Yeah, I guess I'll do it that way. Sun won't be in your eyes. <laughs> I told them around 10, 10, 30, they're moving in here. And it's uh, 9.55. So I brought my gun with me. And uh, I'm gonna walk in pretty quiet toward the end there. and hope I, uh, maybe something will come out while I'm just switching cameras, that'd be nice. Although it'd be a long drag. <clears throat> All right guys, I'm going to, uh, I'm getting into the field here now, so I'm gonna get quiet and uh, make my way to the cameras. really tell. I couldn't see any deer on there, but I heard either branches raking the trees or a deer scraping his horns. There's definitely fresh track here. And uh, the glare I was getting, I couldn't really make out whether there was 
deer on there or not, so I just figured I'll leave that camera there. And I switched out the card. And now I'm working my way to the other spy point so I can put the lockbox on it and move it up closer. But right about now is when they should be moving through. So, take a look at my phone. See when they move through last. Oh man. Sorry guys, I keep putting that sun in your face. 6.23 this morning. So the late crew hasn't come through yet. That's good. I have a chance. All right, so this is a small little opening. And, uh, oh, wow, that's bright. And you can see there's the main field. And this is where I've got my camera. And I mean, it's, it's tucked away in there. So I'm going to move it to, you know, either this tree or even that one's pretty close. Once I get the lockbox on it, or, I mean, there's lots of options here, but. an idea where I want to put the other one. Oh boy. I'm sure the keys are back in there. Yep. I am ready to get moving anyway, so. I think this is where I'm going to be hunting next weekend anyway, so I'm okay that I have two cameras pretty close to each other. I really want to zero in on that. On our way back to the cabin and, oh, come on. Nice big buck. Can't see. Worth a damn. Look at that. Look at that buck. Oh. Good old private property. Anyways, we are finished for the weekend. It's Saturday, 11.50. I'm probably literally nine minutes away from the cabin, so. That's really funny. Um, yeah. Uh, gotta get out of these clothes, do some work. Cut up some wood. I got all my cameras put out, so I'm excited about that. It can do the scouting for me for the next week. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. The bucks are out. They're chasing does. That one, this, oh 
almost noon. The big buck is out there. Pretty nice. All right, guys. Well, I don't think there's anything more I can film. Um, I'm just going to the cabin to do some chores now. Hunting's over for this weekend. And uh, I will be hunting next weekend. So we'll see you then. and I are back at the lake here, at the cabin, right by. It is 8.45 p.m. November 22nd, and uh, we're out here to shoot a deer tomorrow morning. That's the plan. So we're just getting uh, settled here, and uh, I had a, a doe cross in front of me on the highway, and uh, a buck right in behind her, nose to the ground, stupid as can be. So they're in rut. And uh, I got some pretty interesting pictures on my cell cameras. Um, I have four of them out now. And I don't even think I can show you my picture. I can't even show you the pictures. I don't have cell service down here, so oh well. I'll, uh, once we get up to the top of the hill and get into cell service, I'll show you some pictures. I've got a few okay bucks, and uh, I got an elk on camera, so that's pretty cool. And, um, oh. I've got several hunters on camera. Um, it's pretty cool. I have a coyote with a rabbit in its mouth. So it's pretty interesting and pretty neat. But um, the place I'm going tomorrow morning, uh, I brought my roll blind with me. So I'm trying to go in light but yet still have blind coverage. Um, let's see. What do I got here? Hey, bud. It's just this, it's uh, it's folded like four times, it's four feet tall, and I think 12 feet long or something. Anyways, I've used it before in my videos where I just uh, usually put it around uh, three trees or put it across two trees and sit in behind it. Gives me a bit of coverage um, so I can kind of move my hands around and play with the camera. Um, but the place I'm going tomorrow morning has activity from 6 a.m., which is before shooting light, all the way throughout the day. Like just every half an hour to hour, something's coming by. And most of the time, it's, I'm gonna say, 80% does. But if it's rut now, and if they're in rut, that's gonna bring in the bucks too, right? The bucks are gonna be stupid. They have swollen necks. I really wish I could show you that picture. I got such a good picture of a buck with uh, standing all proud with a big swollen neck. It's really cool. Um, so we got a lot of camera work to do tomorrow as well. I want to switch out the cards uh, on the cameras uh, tomorrow, but it's been a long day. 
and <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? Yeah. It's been a long day, so I want to um, get a fire going. I still have to have a shower tonight. Um, get my backpack packed and ready to go tomorrow. In fact, with the with the stuff I have, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I want to pack the backpack, get it 100% ready, and um, that means I got to get to bed pretty early tonight too because uh, it's going to be an early morning. I I have to beat the people in there. Um, so just like last weekend, where I was there at. I don't know what it was, five o'clock or something in the in the kind of parking area before you walk into the field. Um, I want to do that again and uh, beat everyone there. Walk in nice and early. I'll be having to use my headlamp. Um, I'll need my headlamp to set up this roll blind and. Uh, yeah, I it's work. I'm Christmas shopping. That's what me and the wife have been saying is I'm Christmas shopping because I'm not here for the head on the wall this year anymore. Um, I blew that, so uh, I want to get the dogs their Christmas gift. And every year I try and get them uh, a pair of antlers, so they each get an antler, and then we wrap it in Christmas wrap and everything. And dogs love it, so. So that's the plan. So I got some work to do tonight, not a whole lot. Um, the place is super warm in here. I'm, I'm here at the right time. I have a thermostat that's, um, they're digital seven day thermostats that control baseboard heat. And uh, I set them to kick up Friday night at seven o'clock PM every Friday. And they kick up to 21 degrees Celsius. And then at nine o'clock they kick back down to five degrees Celsius. So if I'm coming out, it's pre-warmed and I'm usually here between eight and nine. So it's the chill's gone, you know, objects have started warming up. But on the other hand, if I don't come out, well, the heat's only kicked up for three hours and then it kicks back down. So it's not a big deal. Oh, guys, I'm beat. I am tired. I brought my uh, Pete's boot dryer out this time with me as well. I mean, I've got a fire going all the time, so it's pretty easy for me to take the liners out and set them by the fire, but it's also going to be kind of nice to have the boot dryer where I can just throw my gloves and my toque and my boots and all that on that dryer off into the corner somewhere and uh, have them dry out while I'm taking my nap or something like that. But anyways, I'm babbling, so I should probably cut out that last half hour <laughs> and uh, I'm going to make a fire. This is the first clean out uh, since we started burning when the temperature dropped, so that's pretty good. I mean, I've been out here every weekend since since I got back from moose hunting, so I went September 19th, probably came home, I don't know, even call it the 30th, whatever the weekend is after after that would have been the first weekend out here. And I'm, even in September, I'm burning a fire. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary to go too crazy tonight with fire. It's, uh, it's only minus three out there right now. Minus three Celsius, so. When this fires up, that'll probably be enough for today, tonight. Oh, have a nice shower right away. Get out of my work clothes.
Come on, bud. Oh, man. What? <laughs> okay. Well, it's nine o'clock. It's not bad. I gotta pack my stuff for tomorrow. Go. All right, morning, everyone. Let's see if that works here. Ooh, ooh. Just trying to get the camera set up on my. There we go. There we go. All right, it is quarter after five. We are definitely early. Can't shoot until seven twenty something. And. Uh, I saw a lot of eyes in the field, in the fields as I was driving here. So that's good, they're still in the fields grazing. So look at this. <laughs> this is what I mean by they're in rut. Look at that big swollen neck. Oh. Hey. That is a buck, it's a bit, a bit hard to see but you see that? There you go. You can see the rack on them now. So that is the same little area I'm going to. You see they're crossing like all different times. Like that's 4.30 in the afternoon. This one's 10.22. The big swollen neck guy, 10:22 a.m. Um, this is a different camera, but that's the elk. And I want to show you the coyote with the rabbit in his mouth. This is the same camera, I think. Nope. There we go. Look at the bottom left there. You see those legs sticking out of his face? <laughs> oh, the rabbit. Rabbit legs. So it's pretty cool to have this, uh, to have these cameras out there. It's very handy. Um, see, I catch other hunters, you know, hunting the field or walking past the camera. Where's my buck? Where's my big buck in this one? 
Where is he? Oh, there he is. I don't know if he's big. The horns aren't past the ears, but he's a decent size. You know, good for the dogs. Whew. We are early, though. And, uh... I didn't even have to check the other end. This is the spot that has two two parking spots. But we just got some fresh snow and uh, nobody's driven to that end yet. So that's, uh, there's no way they could have got there without driving down that road. And there's no tracks, it's just fresh snow. It's not even questionable, so. Oh, I'm really early. And it's hot. I'm getting hot. Oh, that window. <sighs> it's a clear sky. It's minus three Celsius, which is not bad. I'll be able to slowly walk in and take my time. Um, it's basically two hours until shooting light. And I still have to set up my blind. And I want to slowly walk in there, and it's... I can't remember how far this is. A quarter mile or half mile? I can't remember. I'd have to look on the map. But, uh... I guess I should... turn my phone on vibrate. Oops. Not volume. There we go. There, so if something comes in front of a camera, it'll vibrate for me and maybe wake me up. So yeah, we're ready. Um, I'll be using my headlamp to walk in, obviously. Um, even with a clear sky, it's pretty dark out there. Oh. So yeah, I'm just going to finish my coffee here. finish my coffee and then start walking in.
general area. So I gotta turn my headlamp up. And you can see there's tracks that go down into the valley. All through here, just littered with tracks. This is the field, you can see my footsteps. That's the field I just came from. And this is just a open bluff here. I'm really debating backing myself over here somewhere or staying in the end of the field. Oh, my camera just went off. That's me. <laughs> Deer tracks are so close to the tree line here and over there that and right in front of me here I don't really want to block their natural path but the way the wind is going got it all figured out the night before, eh? Like, I'd like to be able to... Like, this is the main highway right here. Main highway. But the wind is going this way. Uh, so that goes down to the valley. Main highway here. Another main artery that runs this way. And the wind is going that way. So, you see the highway here? And there? The wind is in my face right now. So I have to be on this side of the tracks. But that leaves me with this bush. And it's very close. Like we're talking, it would be a 20 yard shot. And I kind of want it to be a bit further away than that. Really bad wind for this spot. And there's no way. Like, I, I'm literally like six yards from the tracks right now, so if they were walking down that same path, there's no way I could move without them spooking. Just no way. I gotta go back into the field and just see if the wind is swirling around in here or what. Oh, I feel it pretty clear on my face right now. Again, kind of on the wrong side. Oh. oh man. I may end up having to set up on the field here and hope one of them comes through. I just don't think they are. It doesn't look like there's much for tracks coming into the field from here. They're all going through the bush there. find a spot over here somewhere. Try and get as far away as possible. I'm gonna go this way. From what I've seen, A 
that's gonna be such a close shot. Yikes. I'm trying to back myself into the bush as far as I can. Because I don't want too close of a shot. That means I won't be able to move too much. Yuck. I'm not thinking I'm getting much better than somewhere over here. This is kind of a nice spot. See it walking up the valley. See the valley road there, the edge goes down. So that goes down there, and I'm kind of up on a, a hill. I'd be able to see them walk up that and have a clear shot to the center of the main area. Well, I think this is going to be it. I think it's all I can do. are driving around now so it's time to get moving blind setup. I've got some coverage on this side as well. And then in behind. You can see I'll have my back against this tree and I've got good movement all along that front line. So 
let's get you guys set up here. Okay guys, it's lights out time. So shoot. find any blood then there's still going to be uh, bucks moving through here in the next few hours so I'm going to quickly go and uh, just see if I can see any sign it was a good good shot 
I just don't know if there was a tree in the way. He blended in between the trees pretty easy, so we'll see. Feels good to get up. Ouch. Damn straight, that's his track. What is that? What is that? That is a lot of splatter. That's all blood. So, very explosive shot. So it did good. Oh yeah. Right on. It's a, it's a little buck. I think it was a three by three, but um, he crashed into this tree here. This is where I saw. Holy shice. Let's take <laughs> let's take a look again at where the, the shot was and where the blind is. So this is where the shot was. This is the initial shot right here, and it splatters that way. There, look at that window I had. <laughs> There's my blind, right there. So he was pretty deep in here. Honestly, deeper than I thought, but I was looking for, I was looking for his shoulder and when he came through I, just a second or two to move a little bit further and took the shot but this is the tree I saw him crash into and that's a pile of blood so it's a good shot so oh yeah gruesome as this is to see the blood and everything um, seeing blood like this tells me it's about the quickest kill that it's gonna get so boy he's just a running there he is that's him yep Dead. Oh yeah. Here was the now he's still got both sides. So
All right, let's have a look. Looks like a perfect little set of antlers for the dogs. Christmas shopping is done. Went in his shoulder and out his neck. All right, well, here we go. Uh, nice little three by three. Perfect for the dogs. Uh, so, there we go. Nice little three by three. It's gonna make some good jerky. And the dogs are gonna be nice and happy with those. That'll last them a year. Those are the ones I like. Oh. Well, like I said, I, I saw it coming. And um, I just saw that there was horns. I saw three points. That's all I cared about. I wasn't going for a trophy this year after I bought all those cameras. I blew the budget, so. So, I've been Christmas shopping for the dogs. And, uh, we got one. It's too bad it's so small though, eh? Poor little guy. He would have grew up to be a nice buck. I gotta drag this guy out of here now. I think I'm gonna pull him into this just away from the trees a bit where it's a bit more open and I'll gut him right here. And uh, I'm gonna go pack my stuff. Oops, sorry guys. There. Oh. All right, I'm gonna go pack my pack my stuff. I'm going to uh, move him over here, and I'm gonna gut him while he still moves nicely. Ooh. This is 
a very dead tree. There we go. Alright. Yep, I think that should be good. All right, guys, check in with you soon. All right, guys, we're done. We're uh, somewhat cleaned up. I'm surprised. I only got bloody up to here this time. It's been a long time since I've got a deer. Um, and uh, I got, you know, it's because it's nice out. It's only uh, like minus three this morning or whatever. So it's probably only minus two or one now. So it's... It's not like I'm doing this in minus 20 like normal, right? So, it's a lot, uh, this was a lot more comfortable. Which is why I can cover my arms in snow and not be a problem. <sighs> Alright, so, deer's gutted. And, uh, that only took about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Um, the sun is just starting to peek over the bush line. And since I'm here... I think I'm going to go move my camera. Well, we're three quarters of the way. You can see the truck back there, I think. Yeah. Whew. So, we really don't have much left to go. We have gone a long way. Way down there. I'm glad he's not much bigger. <laughs> so, pretty good looking little buck though, eh? I think I called it a three pointer, but it's got the three mains, but it's a four pointer. If we include the brow tine, I think we do. I don't care. <laughs> They're for the dogs to chew on. I'm not mounting it, so. I'll tell you what, it's a far cry from a boonie, but. Still, good looking buck. I've taken probably, I don't know, four, five breaks. Each about, I don't know, five minutes or so. It's not too bad. But it's uh, 9.23. So, it's, uh, oh. I think I figured out what I'm going to do for the rest of today, too. So once I get this guy loaded up, obviously the first thing I'm doing is getting Boss outside so he can see it. And then uh, and then I'm going to kind of just re-wash my hands and half-wet my arms kind of thing. Um, I'm going to pack away all my hunting gear, pack it up, get it put away, get it in its big duffel bag to go back home. I'm gonna have a shower, I'm gonna have a beer, I'm gonna have something to eat, and I'm gonna have a nap. And then I'll probably head home tonight. You know, gray cups tomorrow. So we got a lot of, you know, prep work uh, to get ready for that. And, you know, meat cheese crackers and dips and all that kind of stuff to get ready. Hey guys, we just got to the cabin. Haven't even seen my boy yet. Gonna let him out and see what he thinks. Hey bud, come on out. Whoa, what's going on, eh? What is that? What's that smell? Oh, look at your tail. Look at your tail. Hey, there it is. Yeah, it's in there. I'm gonna try and keep the deer out of the view here. <clears throat> oh boy, go check it out. Yeah, go on, go check it out. <laughs> hey bud, what's going on, there you go, there you go, well, so much for keeping it out of the view that way, here, we'll go this way, hey bud, what is it, huh, good boy, you get some antlers, oh, <sighs> 
Well, I phoned the wife from the top of the hill and basically said I might come home tonight, but don't expect me because it's probably not going to happen. I got a lot to do here. If you hear the beeping, the neighbor's uh, cabin is just a summer cabin, so um, their battery and their fire detector, her smoke alarm is obviously cold and dying. It's been doing this for three weeks now. <laughs> so. Good boy. Hey, yeah, good boy. Huh? I know you want up there, but you're just gonna get, yeah. You'll get covered in blood if you go up there. Good boy. All right, I need to get this work done. Good boy. So I think I'm gonna collect some snow from the ground here too, and um, fill up the chest cavity. I've opened it so it you know starts cooling down a little faster but I need to get it cold so I'm gonna throw a bunch of snow in there a couple shovelfuls and and um, and then I'll pack the rest of my stuff inside but it was uh, I tried so many different things this year and I just I loved it I loved seeing what worked and what didn't um, and you know honestly the best choice I made this morning or last night was taking that roll blind, bringing that roll blind out here because um, the mobility, the fact I could haul all my gear out at the same time, I didn't need a sleigh, although it would have been nicer to have one. Um, you know, being able to just set up a, a blind there, it wasn't too cold this morning. I wouldn't have done it if it was minus 20. I wouldn't have been able to sit out there for that long, but uh, basically the shot was taken an hour and a half after I got there, so I'm pretty happy with that. You know, it was just, everything just lined up this time and it was really awesome. Made me really happy, so. Ah, <sighs> Christmas shopping is over. All right, I am gonna get uh, Boss's collar on, get him on his zip line so that I can get some work done. Nope, don't pee on that, that's not a real tree. <laughs> so, my wife made this. It's um, a tomato. It's a, a plant pot with rocks in the bottom with an upside down tomato cage. And then she wrapped lights and, and I don't know, fake garland stuff around it. Oh, hold on. She wanted me to plug it in. So let me plug it in. Oh, boy. Oh, there we go. There. Hey. I don't know if you can see the lights. It's pretty bright out here, but yeah, that's our little Christmas tree at the cabin. So, hey bud, hey, hey, let's get your collar on. Come on, let's go. All right guys, the rest of today is going to be just packing, cleaning, showering, leveling off the water, and laying on the couch for the rest of the day. So, I'm gonna sign off now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the video here. And uh, coming up, ice fishing and, uh, you know, just life at the cabin. So, thanks for watching. Oh my god, guys, look at this. Look at all the turkeys. There's just a pile of them. All in the front yard here. That's insane. Oh, I'm gonna have such wet feet. Holy crap. <sighs> hey boss, what's going on? What's going on, bud? You just chilling with the turkeys? Yeah. Good boy. Oh man. So he apparently doesn't really care. Hey? <laughs> he probably didn't know what was going on. He came to the door and he hit the door and then he like walked away and then he came back to the door, hit the door, walked away. He was trying to get my attention. Well, he got it. <clears throat> oh. 
That's awesome. Hey, isn't that great? Isn't that great? Oh, you're stuck. Go around. Jeez, they're coming back into my yard. I'm right here. Go around one more time. Good boy, go around. Good boy. Yeah, they're going to cross into my driveway again. Look at that. Look at them all. Just running down my driveway. Do -do -do -do. <gasps> That's great. Good to see a healthy amount of turkeys here. Woo. Time to go back in. 